construct a quadrilateral ABCD where AB is 3.87 meter, BC is 2.08 meter, AD equals to CD is 1.95 meter and angle B equals to 60 degree. Take this measurement from a scale in which 12 cm length represents 3 meter. Show the calculation and draw a diagonal scale. Now see, in this sum, first we will find out RF. Now they haven't given RF directly. So what we will do now in this case, we will take this measurement from a scale in which 12 cm length represents 3 meter. So 12 cm is what? Drawing length. And 3 meter is? actual length. So RF is nothing but drawing length upon actual length or length of brother, drawing length upon actual length. So that is 12 centimeter upon 3 meter. So 3 into 100 centimeter. So it will be 1 upon or I can say 12 upon 300. So 12 upon if you divide by 6, it will be 2. If you divide by 6, it will be 15. So it will be 1 upon 25. So RF is 1 upon 25. Now we will find out the maximum length. Now if you see, they have given 3 lengths. 3.87, 2.08 and 1.95. So we will take the maximum length. Now which, which is the maximum length? AB. So maximum length equals to 3.87. Now always remember we can't take maximum length as fraction otherwise it will be difficult for us to divide into 3.87 parts. So always you take higher digit. Even if it is 3.01 we will take 4 meter. So maximum length is 4 meter. So what is the length of scale? Length of scale is RF into ML. So that is RF is 1 upon 25 into 4 into 100 centimeter. So that will be how much? 16 centimeter. So we will draw a line of 16 centimeter. Now this time we will draw instead of 5 millimeter, now we will take height 5 centimeter. I am doing 5 cm that I am telling you later on. First we will draw this block. So that means I have drawn this block, that means it's 4 meter, right? In actual sense it will be 4 meter long. Now we have to mark 3.87, 2.08, 1.95. So we will divide this block into 4 parts. take any distance we join this to this and drop parallel Understood. We draw a vertical line. So we got one one meter each. Now, what is the difference between plane scale and diagonal scale? Now, in plane scale, you have seen it was only up to one decimal point. Let's say it was one point two meter or point eight meter. Now, in this sum, we have 3.87 meter that means we have 3 meter 8 decimeter and 7 centimeter so diagonal scales are more accurate so now we already got meter right i mean now you have to divide this part into 10 equal parts now we have to divide this block into 10 equal parts so we'll take angle 
you can take any angle. There is no fixed rule that you have to take 30 degree, then 45 degree. You can take whatever angle you want. You can take 1 centimeter approximately. You cut 10 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Join this to this. And draw a parallel. Okay, now we have divided meter into 10 parts, so we got decimeter, 1 decimeter, 2 decimeter, 3 decimeter, then 10 decimeter. Now, we will divide this part into 10 equal parts, right? So now, it is not uh, easy if you, if you want to do it by this way. So we will be using now diagonal scale principle. So that's why this scale we say it's a diagonal scale. So what we do, let's say you take any length. And if I want to divide this line into 10 equal parts, so I'll draw, I'll draw one vertical line and I'll cut 10 equal sign. I'll cut 10 equal sign. 1, 2, 10. Join this to this, right? And let's see. And you draw horizontal. Let's say this is ten millimeter. So this will be nine one zero. So we have we have divided this line into ten equal parts. So now what we will be doing? We'll be marking all these points down. We won't be drawing a vertical line. We'll be just marking all these points. No, no need to draw a straight line. Zero, then write one, two, ten. This is meter. So this will be decimeter right now what we will be doing will be joining 0 to 1 and we will divide this line into 10 equal parts since we have already taken 5 centimeter we can mark 0 0.5 0 0.5 So now you see this. This is one centimeter. This is two centimeter. Ten centimeter equals to one decimeter. Then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decimeter equals to one meter. You can join this. You can join one to two, two to three. 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, you understood, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, and 9 to 10 centimeter. Right? So now if I this is with that 0, 5 and 10. Now if I want to mark 1.95. So I'll take 1 on this, 1 meter, 9, 
decimeter and 5 centimeter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We draw this line dark. This is A. This is B. So A to B is 1.95. Now I want to mark 2.08. So I'll take 2 on this, 0 on this. Now 8 centimeters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is C. This is D. Now 3.87. So I'll take 3 on this, 8 on this. Then I cut 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This point. Enough. So I can write R equals to one upon twenty five, AB equals to one point nine five meter, CD equals to two point zero eight meter, and EF equals to three point eight seven meter. Now, using all these three lines plus angle 60 degree, we can draw a coordinate. is a quadrilat. Now the basic thing in this sum or any any scale sum is units. You should be knowing your units well and let, let's say you have forgotten your, your, your units or you are not able to recollect well. I'll give you a mnemonic which will help you to remember units. That is King Henry died mother did cry much now if you see king henry died mother didn't cry much now key means kilometer right key means kilometer h means hectometer d means decameter m means meter t means decimeter C means centimeter and M means millimeter. So one kilometer equals to ten hectometer. One hectometer equals to ten decameter. One decameter equals to ten meter. One meter equals to ten decimeter. 1 decimeter equals to 10 centimeter and 1 centimeter equals to 10 millimeter. Now let's say you want to go from meter to millimeter. So you just see meter to millimeter 1, 2, 3. So 1 meter equals to 1000 millimeter. Same way you want to go from centimeter to millimeter. So one zero. So one centimeter is ten millimeter. By this way, you can remember all your units. Plane scale we use for one decimal point, and diagonal scale we use for two decimal point. And let's say they have given a, a maximum length of one point eight meter. So we we will use plane scale. And if they are given a maximum length of 2.53 meter, so that time we will use a diagonal scale. And always remember, whenever they will give you a maximum length in fraction, let's say they will, they will give you 1.8 meter. So we will take maximum length as 2 meter. We won't be taking 1.8. And even if they will give you 2.01 meter, so we will take maximum length as 3 meter. We won't be taking 2. So it's always next higher digit. On an average, uh, you can expect one sum from the scale and generally they will tell you to do 
uh, use this uh, dimension, so let's say they will give you uh, the mark 2.04 meter on it and then they will tell you that you take this 2.04 meter scale length and you construct a triangle, a pentagon, hexagon using that scale length. 